Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, there is a new feature coming in 25H2 that is already um, exists already in some Insider uh, builds, like the Canary build, for example, has it, and it has to do with the administrator control of your system. So it's a little bit like the um, user account control that used to be on um, Windows Vista that annoyed a lot of people back then. It was that time when um, machines um, decided to um, really ask permission all the time for almost um, every app that you would run for security purposes and a lot of people ended up really hating that functionality. And I remember as a tech guy, a lot of people were asking me to just you know, shut it down. So the administrator protection that's coming in 25H2 will be implemented, of course, in your Windows security app. When you go to the account protection right now, you have the standard info with the dynamic lock right here. But in the future, you will have the info and uh, here is going to be, as you see down here, something called administrator protection. So this administrator protection will uh, be, of course, uh, the uh, key feature of uh, the 25H2 protection. How does it differ from the user account control? Well. User account control was just, you know, giving privilege and telling you that you're going to give some privilege to admin privilege to apps. In the administrator uh, protection, instead, the apps will run in a kind of a sandbox, a protected mode. So it is different for that. But you can uh, probably imagine that it possibly will be annoying for some users at some point. So that will be something to look at. Um, it will ask for permission using Windows LO, which means if you enter a PIN or if you maybe a fingerprint or if in my case I use the uh, face recognition, it will use that to make sure that it's you before it runs an app and the elevated uh, privileges. So we'll see how it is, but there is one good news about this is that it's going to make it's going to be easy to turn it off if you don't want it. It's something that unfortunately happens in so many um, apps and so many um, different operating systems where you know you're just getting asked for permission. But in Windows, uh, most user running administration. And that makes, of course, the Windows use uh, rather um, dangerous. Um, Microsoft knows that nobody or almost no one will create a standard user. And that, of course, means that by not using a standard user, you're uh, more in danger. And this is one of the ways Microsoft is trying to find um, to, to protect you more basically. So we'll see how it goes. And of course, we'll talk about it as soon as it's available. It is probably on my Canary machine. I will try it a few a little bit to see how annoying it is and probably make a video of it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.